Hello, this is Meena Sehar and I'm the product TME for ISR 4000. Now that you have upgraded your router to 16.10 and since smart licensing is a mandatory requirement, what should you do next? I'm going to take you through the steps required to register your router to a smart licensing account and convert your licenses to smart software licenses or better known as smart entitlements. Once you have iOS XC 16.10 loaded on your router, smart licensing is enabled by default and the call home configuration is automatically populated in your router. The router is in unregistered state and the licenses on the router are now in eval mode. This means you have 90 days to register your product on the CSSM or the Cisco Smart Software Manager and convert your licenses to smart entitlements. After the 90 day period, the licenses go to eval expired mode. As of today, there will be no feature impact when licenses go to eval expired mode. However, future releases will have an enforcement plan. Now I'm going to show you how to create a virtual account. Create virtual accounts to suit your organizational needs, like routers deployed at a certain site can be grouped under the same virtual account. You can transfer existing licenses or product instances from one virtual account to another. You can make your virtual account private if you do not want the account to be listed. Your virtual account has been created. To go to your account, go back to software.cisco.com and select Smart Software Licensing. Go to the Inventory tab and look for the virtual account you just created. Your account will not show up in the list if it was set up as a private account. This is a brand new account and it does not have any products registered yet. We will now begin the registration process by creating a token. The token ID is an alphanumeric string and it is used to associate your router with the virtual account. You can use the same token ID to register all the products in your network. If the token expires or if the maximum number of users are exhausted, simply create a new token and you can seamlessly continue to register new products. Open and copy the alphanumeric string. Now go to the router and paste the token after you type license smart register ID token. Wait for a few minutes for the registration process to go through. A successful registration will show the router listed as a product instance in your virtual account. You will also see licenses on the router have been ported to the CSSN, but they show a negative balance. That is because the licenses on the router are not authorized yet. They are in the out of compliance state. To fully convert the router, we must initiate device led conversion or DLC. To start DLC, go to the router, 
and issue license smart conversion start. This process may take up to an hour to finish. When DLC starts, licenses on the router are in out of compliance state and DLC status is not complete. When DLC is done, licenses move to authorized state and the DLC status shows as completed. Please remember that DLC can only be done once. The CSSN now shows the licenses are in use and there is no negative balance. This means that device-led conversion is successful. I hope this video was helpful to understand the DLC process Please send your feedback to the email address on the screen.